guys, welcome back to Astroways. Today we're gonna get into a new topic, which is face reading. If you haven't been following my videos before and you wanna dive into face reading, I recommend you to go watch my earlier video called Asian versus Western face reading before you watch this one. For people who have been following my Baza chart reading playlist, just let you know that I'll still update Baza chart playlist but I'll also open some new metaphysics topics. And today our new topic is face reading. So what do you know about face reading? Whenever we meet new people, by the look at their faces, sometimes we can already tell who has the potential to be friends with us and who looks a bit hard to deal with. This is our human instinct. But this instinct, most of the time, is based on our default analysis from our brain telling us who seems more friendly than others. It doesn't mean later on you won't find that the nice person is actually cheating on you, or you find the other people you thought were hard to deal with are actually more easygoing. In this face reading playlist, I want to share with you how to analyze a person's face in an in-depth way. I hope at the end of this playlist, you find this useful not only if you use this method to hire better people to work for you or find a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but most importantly, I want you to be able to know yourself better, know where your strength is and make best use of it know your weakness and find a way to upgrade yourself. As human beings, we all have flaws. No one is born perfect. In Chinese, we say face is the index of the heart. What shows on your face is reflection of your personality. People can look completely different after experiencing ups and downs in life. So it doesn't matter if you discover negative points on your face. What we need to change is from the inside, not plastic surgery. Plastic surgery is considered as scars on face reading, and that won't bring you any luck. Some people may say, well, after I did my plastic surgery, I feel guys more attracted to me than before. That's true, because you feel more confident, and confidence is something not related to how you look. What you need is actually not plastic surgery, is to learn to build up your confidence from the inside. Anyways, today I'm going to give you an introduction about face reading, how face reading reflects on our life paths. Now for people who have been following my Baza chart reading playlist, you know in chart reading we have 10 years luck pillar. That's like the path of our lives. It changes every now and again. In face reading, if all your features are the same most of your life, how do you know when is your lucky peak and when is your lowest point? There are mainly two ways to calculate the timeline and age on face reading. Today we're going to learn the first one, which is the basic one and the most common and widely used one. The second one is more complicated and we'll talk about it when it comes to the right time. Now here's the graphic for the first one. In general, our human face can be divided into three parts. The first part is hairline to brow bone. This part represents the first 30 years of our lives. Now don't ask me what happened if you don't have hair. I'm sure once upon a time you must have some hair. And we talk more about hairlines when we talk about foreheads. Second part is from brow bone to the bottom of the nose. This part represents from 30 to 60 years old, which is the golden age for building up careers and families. Last one is the bottom part from 60 to the end of your life. And for every single year, there is a specific part of your face the condition of each of these little areas directly reflects that specific year of your life. Now you may ask, if the part that represents my 25 year old is not that good, then can I just hold my breath, put myself in a box and slip it off? Then when I wake up from my 26 year old, everything's gonna be fine, right? 
Well, all parts of our face affects our whole life. When I say each part represents a specific year, it's true, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't make an impact of your life in general. All parts matter. It's just that when it comes to some specific year, you feel it even stronger than other years. From next episode on, we talk about the areas one by one. If you want to learn about your face and learn how to read other people's face, stay with me. Thank、you